Ice. It's probably one of the first times that we ever learn about phase transitions. That's when a matter changes its state. In this case, from a liquid to a solid. But while we know how to make this, would you trust us to make one of these? No way. So how do these ice makers keep their cool? Let's find out together on Al Connected's General Knowledge. The secret to making ice that is the perfect thickness, temperature, and strength, and that has all those fancy lines and markings on it, begins deep underneath its surface. Over top of soil and gravel, there is an insulating layer of styrofoam. This keeps the temperature of the earth below from affecting our perfect ice temperature. Next comes a thick slab of concrete with several miles of steel piping running through it. The pipes are filled with a super chilled coolant that brings the concrete down to around minus seven degrees Celsius. This is what will actually freeze the water, which we're now ready for. The average ice hockey rink uses around 45,000 to 55,000 liters of water but it's not a matter of just dumping all of this water over the concrete. Instead, it is sprayed on thin layer by thin layer. Next comes the painting. After the second layer of ice, the entire surface is painted white by a paint truck. Then this white paint is sealed by another layer of ice. And now comes the red lines, the blue lines, the face-off circles, the team sponsors, the logos, all of these things are painted on the ice surface by hand. Once the painting is completed, the crew can then move to add the extra eight to 10 layers of ice. To reach a final thickness of about 2.5 centimeters, it must be cool enough to not get all mushy during the game, but warm enough to not crack under the pressure of those skates. Ice job, crew. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to follow us so that you don't miss out on the next episode of Al Connected's General Knowledge.